And I'm JB. And today we're talking about the Helix bed. What? what? So I want to start off by doing a full disclosure here. Helix sent us this mattress in exchange for doing a review of it. However, they did not tell us what we could say, what we could not say. Everything we say in this video is 100% our honest our opinions, opinions. Our own this opinions. This is how we feel. I don't even know very much about this bed. I know yeah. they sent us to a website and said, fill out this information. It will tell you your perfect comfort level. Yeah. If you got a case size. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, let me turn it around here. Um, there's a few different questions here. I don't think there's too many questions, uh, but it, it basically narrows it down and tells you the perfect comfort level for you and your partner if you uh, do a split level bed. You can actually do half and half on the king size and maybe the queen size. So we got half, uh, I believe, firmer for me yep. and half a little bit softer, a little bit softer for you, I, I believe. Let me read. What does this say? Mine and oh. We have a lot of the exact oh same gosh. answers. Let's see. So, Jamie and Josh, we have um, plush to firm. We're a little bit more on the firm side. Support, light to strong. We're on a lighter support. Temp regulation, we're all the way on cool. And uh, point elasticity, we're on high. I don't know what that Whatever means. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. I their like, little advertisement on Facebook or Instagram, something like that. And it kept advertising that it's a cooler bed, yeah. that your sleep should be a lot cooler. It kept showing people having fans and not needing fans anymore. So oh. I get really hot when I sleep. I know he does too. He no, I always sleep with sweat. a fan. Yeah. I, I don't think there's really anything that you can do. I really honestly don't think that there's a bed in the world unless it's like got like a water bed with ice or something that's really yeah. gonna stop me from sweating. But, but hey, you know, anything, any little shot. bit helps. So, let's go ahead and open this. You wanna cut it open? Let's go Get ahead and try, what do I open this up at? Right over here on the side here, guys. Woohoo! I'm excited about a new bed. New bed time! Ready, you got it? Ready, and go, wife. Watch out for that light. Oh, watch out for the light. Okay. This is really compact. This is like super compact. There's so Holy much plastic. Crap. Hold on, show from the side so that you can see how much plastic is on this thing. Okay. See all that plastic? see all this? Look how much this thing is wrapped up and this should unwrap and fluff up like crazy. Right. Now, I hope you don't do this well. I don't have to. Push it back to me. <laughs> wow, this is in here tight. Holy crap. I'm gonna go ahead and try to open this up without cutting it. Uh, Woo. Okay, I don't want to accidentally cut the bed here. So. Huh. Right when you cut it, you started to hear the air go in. Yeah. Wait, wait, how do we get it off the bottom? When we just slide it. That was difficult to open. I wish there was some kind of like quick release latch or yeah. some kind of pull tab. At or least that plastic something. after you cut the bottom was pretty easy to slide off yeah. from underneath. It um, was easier than I thought it was going to be. It's actually not that heavy of a bed unrolled like this. Yeah, like to lift up on the it feels like, like a normal that. mattress. Yeah. And it filled up really legs. fast. It seemed like by the yeah, time that we had the plastic off, it was fluffy. Can you guys see this fluff one here? Okay. Um, I don't know how long. Yeah, anything? I don't know how long this takes. I think we're going to let this sit for like an hour yeah. just to make sure it's fully fluffed. Then we're going to come back and check it out. Um, right now, this, it feels really yeah. soft. Just initial feel of it. But, it feels uh, really nice. It's, whoa, it's really soft. Yeah. Holy crap, so it's nice. a lot more Which... softer than I thought. So I don't know if I'm gonna like this or not. Well, Cause I definitely like some support. And I don't know if you, I can already see where you're sitting that it's, you know, that it's bending in, flopping in. It is, it is flopping in right where my can butt feel, is. Can you feel this? Here, stand still. I see well, it moving I mean, you're a moving bit, the whole that bed bad. frame yeah, though. You're, that's true, I am moving the bed frame. Um, but a little bit of a weird smell. That's kind of a, what, what that smells really familiar. It smells like something I smelled like in school. Like it glue. It smells like glue. It You're smells right. like, it smell like glue. glue. Okay, that's what that is. Like stick glue or Elmer's glue or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, I like really the soft softness bed, of it. I feel but like... it feels warm. 
It does feel warm. It definitely doesn't uh, feel cool. I thought yeah. it was going to be like that um, that gel, like that, that gel cooling stuff? gel. I thought it would yeah. be like that gel layer top, that, that, that top you layer of the cooling and it gel. It definitely feels cool. This, this feels does kind not of feel warm. cool. Now it's pretty warm in our apartment right now. But I just thought, since it was supposed to cool you down, that I would instantly feel... Like, right when you touched yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I thought there'd be a cooling... I could picture myself sweating on this, but well, I won't know until we check this out. All right, so let's go let this fluff up, and we'll come back here in an hour and check this out. Oh! <laughs> oh <we're back. laughs> All right, so about an hour into waiting on this bed to fluff up, we got a little bit tired, and then we actually decided we'd just sleep on it overnight so we could give you a little bit more feedback on the bed instead of just an initial review. Yeah, actually, when we came back an hour into it, the bed looked the same. It didn't really look like it unfluffed yeah, anymore. Yeah, I don't think it unfluffed too much there more. I've got a little a bit of- There was a long line in the middle of it that you could really no see from it being real, folded. You can barely see a line. Yeah, now really. the line's gone. Oh. But check this out though, we're here set up all the way on the edge. We're both sitting on the edge right here and look, it's not smashing down. So I'm sitting crisscross all the way here on the edge. What I've and noticed- And it's not smashing down here if I do this like this. Now this might smash down a little bit like this, but- with but your feet up, it doesn't. If I scoot back just a tiny bit like this, it doesn't smash down uh -uh. at all. Um, what I've noticed when you sit on it, you definitely collapse into it more than when you're laying down. When you lay down, you don't sink into yeah, it as I much. Thought. Which is nice, because like I this, really thought you were going to sink into because it. Because when I first got on the bed, I bottomed out. I stood up like this, and if I stand up all the way on one foot, I pretty yeah. much bottom out and uh, can almost hit touch the bed. The bed. And then when I jump down like that, my butt kind of almost wants to bottom out a little bit, so I was a little bit worried. But when I lay all the way down like this, it's really comfortable. It kind of starts to fill in my uh, little dip in your back mm -hmm. and whatnot. Um, after you sit there for a few minutes, it starts to fill in. It reminded me of going to like a three or four star hotel in the bed that they would give That's you exactly that you're laying on that nice real like really cushiony nice pillow bed. top um, where it feels like the memory foam, but you can still tell that it's a springy mattress. As far as being cool and everything, I'm not really sure yet. We definitely need to sleep on this for a couple more weeks. Mm -hmm. to be, I don't want to tell you guys, oh, it's the coolest thing ever. Go get it. And and it not really be. So I we're going to sleep like on this for a little bit longer. I don't feel like I sweated as much last night, but it wasn't as hot out yesterday Exactly, either. it's hard so to tell. Hard one to night's tell hard one to tell. Night. We can't yeah. really just say overnight if it's the coolest thing. Um, I didn't realize that there were springs in the bed. I must have overlooked that, but they're a new kind of spring. It's like a micro coil or something. And you can feel it. It you feels feel like it's only about right this much of spring. Like it there feels a, like it's like maybe three it's inches right here. of spring. It's, there's only what, maybe two inches of foam here on the top. And yeah, then maybe right two, here, three inches of Right where the blue starts, is spring and the springs go down to here and then it gets all and then soft it's like a huge, foam again. Uh, double layer some kind of double layer of foam right there yeah so, so initial reactions it's better than i thought when i unboxed it i really thought that we were going to sink into it i, I thought too. it was going to leave our because when you unbox it and when you lay it out on the bed frame it's a fairly light bed yeah it is a pretty light bed lighter than i thought it would be mm -hmm. because rolled up it was heavy but but uh rolled but out like open. this unflattened it like slides around my, my the bed frame a little bit when you're off of it, it can slide around easy and yeah, I thought that I would bottom out more, but I actually slept pretty decent yeah, last night. Yeah, I did too. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and sleep on this bed for probably about a month, something like that. Have a little bit more of an idea of what it's like besides just the first night sleeping on it. Cause but when you go to a hotel, their beds are cool. nice the for the first night. The initial reaction seems pretty cool. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, although I was hoping for an instant cooling effect on this. Mm -hmm. And it definitely was an instant cooling. It feels kind of warm, but when I was sleeping, I didn't get, uh, Overwarmed, or I didn't mm -mm. get super hot or anything. So, mm -mm. you know, we'll have to find out. And, and see I how wonder that goes. if they say cooling because other foam mattresses are hot. This is the first one that has a lot of foam on it that we've ever had. So we have nothing that we can really compare it to, hot or cold wise, foam yeah. wise. So we're going to go ahead and sleep on this for a few more weeks and then we will get back to you. So make sure you guys subscribe so you can check out uh, the update videos on the Helix. Then, if you guys like this video, make sure to give us a big thumbs up and we'll see you next week. Bye, Peace. everyone. What? Oh, it misses! Oh, oh no. she gets the pin! One, two, three! No! No! Not fair. Wait, I think we had it backwards. I don't think that means headboard. I think that just shows you the bed. <laughs> Holy cow! Audio recording. Check, 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 check. What? What?